In this video, we will be understand about, understanding about the equilibrium level of income using savings and investment approach. See, I told you that your income is equal to your aggregate supply because your output helps in the income generation. So your income is equal to the aggregate supply and your income aggregate supply is equal to consumption plus savings. Right? Your aggregate demand is equal to your consumption plus investment plus government expenditure plus exports minus imports but in the previous video we have done that we have taken an assumption in both the approaches that there is no government and there is a closed economy so your aggregate demand becomes your consumption plus investment now your aggregate supply is equal to aggregate demand that is consumption plus saving is equal to consumption plus investment so your saving is equal to your investment now let's understand this is your saving is equal to investment now let's understand that your savings means that you are planning less on expenditure that is you are withdrawing expenditure from the economy so if you are reducing your expenditure by saving more ultimately your expenditure will be reduced so your aggregate demand will go down and this is known as withdrawals in your economy right now if I talk about investment your investment means expenditure on capital goods which increase the flow of stock so yeah, if you are investing something means you are buying something you're doing expenditure on the capital goods if you are investing your money in car which means you're buying a capital good that is car right so you're investing into it you are doing an expenditure which if you're doing an expenditure means your aggregate demand will increase and these are termed as injections in the economy Inje injection means that you are injecting the money in the economy through expenditures withdrawals mean you are withdrawing the money from the economy by doing savings you are not letting the flow of money s is equal to i mean saving is equal to investment approach let's take it graphically this is your income here you take your savings and investment see we know that your saving is the function of income means if your consumption is more than your income you have negative savings when your income is more than your consumption you have positive savings and we know that investment is autonomous that it is constant your i is autonomous right your savings when your income is zero your savings are negative and then your saving is a function of income that is as your income increases your saving increases this is what we know and we have read here this is the point of equilibrium income this is the point of equilibrium where your s is equal to i so this we have done, uh, shown you graphically that this is the level of equilibrium level of income when your savings is equal to the investments now this is a tabular presentation this is the income and consumption and your investment these are the various levels of income and the corresponding consumption and investment will be the autonomous that is constant now we can find out savings yes income is equal to consumption plus savings so your saving will be equal to income minus 
consumption so you can find out the saving this is here it comes minus 25 here is 0 then 19 then 50 then 62.5 then 75 then 87.5 then 100 right so we have done that S is equal to I where your saving is equal to your investment is that is the equilibrium level of income so your income equilibrium income income that is y is 400 where your s is equal to i is equal to 75 so this we have explained you using a tabular presentation now when your saving is greater than investment what happens if your saving is greater than investment see if your savings are greater means there is less expenditure and less expenditure means your aggregate demand is less and aggregate supply is more and if your saving is greater than investment means your supply is more than your aggregate demand in that case what happens the output will reduce the producer will plan a lesser output in order to clear the stock the producer will plan lesser output this would mean lesser income in the economy and lesser income implies lesser saving so if your output is planned lesser in order to clear the stock there is no demand supply is more so in order to clear the stock water the uh, producer will do they will reduce the output if the output is reduced your income will be reduced and if your income is reduced your savings will be reduced so if your saving is reduced similarly your saving will be equal to your investment in that case so if your savings are more this will happen and ultimately your savings will come equal to the investments now what will happen if your savings are less than your investment your savings are the withdrawals and similarly your investments are the injections so if your investments are more means people are planning to spend less so expenditure will increase people are planning to spend more so expenditure will increase if your expenditure will increase your aggregate demand will increase your aggregate demand will increase what a producer will do it will plan more output it will plan to produce more so output will increase income will increase if output increases in the economy your income also increases and if income increases your savings also increases so ultimately your savings are equal to your investments so ultimately we will again come to the equilibrium point when your savings will be equal to investment i hope you have completely understood this concept do download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us